All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we are going to be talking about TikTok. Now, I know we haven't talked about TikTok in quite a while. Uh, It used to be something I talked about like all the time on my channel. Um, But yeah, we haven't been talking about TikTok very recently. But however, today, we are going to be talking more about some TikTok things, specifically the kind of sad slash depressed trend that goes on on TikTok. Now, don't get me wrong, mental health is definitely a big issue and it is good to, you know, speak up and, you know, talk about those issues, uh, especially with your family, your friends, you know, those that you trust close to you or go get therapy if you feel like you don't trust anyone, you know, close or honestly just get therapy probably anyway. It's probably a good idea. Um, Those people really know what they're doing. So I'm not saying that, you know, discussing your mental health is bad. And, uh, you know, awareness is a good thing for mental health. Obviously, the more people that know about it, the more people who are going to have that in mind when they're talking to somebody, you know, it makes you think, uh, you know, maybe a little more when you're talking to somebody, it kind of helps you put yourself in their shoes sometimes and thinks, yeah, you know, maybe I shouldn't say that shit. Uh, you know, that could really fuck up this person, especially if they're going through some shit. So, you know, definitely a good thing overall. Now on TikTok, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a really cringy shit on TikTok that has to do with being sad. And, you know, while there's nothing wrong with being sad or having depression or, you know, anything like that, I don't necessarily think that TikTok is the best place for, you know, some of that shit. Um, you know, good examples of this would be like the roses, roses, black heart, broken heart, you know, skull emoji, you know, that kind of thing in the bio, uh, with the chains or whatever, you know, kind of like that emo aesthetic, which again, if that's like your thing, there's nothing really wrong with that. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would honestly fucking read me like that. Am I like that? No, not really. Um, but you know, there's a lot of people that would probably read me like that just for my appearance and you know, the kind of shit I like. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't go and publicize shit like that on TikTok. However, you know, it's weird, especially when it's like completely unrelated things. For example, this is one of the biggest issues in, uh, the car culture on TikTok. It's a lot of these people who just hop in their cars and play like a fucking sound that's like, oh, when I'm sad, I get in my car and I hit the gas and I don't stop. I'm going to find myself in the speed. Um, She broke my heart and I'm going to find my way out through speed therapy. It's like, it's just some of the dumbest, cringiest shit out there. Like, there's no way that that shit is, you know, I, I don't even know how people put that out and think, yeah, you know, this is like really what I'm feeling right here. This is like me in my feels. Um, and I know that you could say like, oh, well, it's just their way of expressing their feelings. You know, maybe they don't have people to talk to. It's like their creative way to get it out. But it's like, dude, like this isn't making music or like art or something where like, yeah, you know, maybe the shit you say on like that fucking music or maybe the shit you make in your art is like your really way to express your feelings. I feel like on TikTok, like that's not you know, that's not the same thing. Uh, not to like discount any big TikTok creators or anything like that. I know that there's definitely a certain level of work that goes into it. Obviously a lot of YouTubers, including me in the past have been like, Oh, well, you know, what the fuck do you do on TikTok? You move your eyes around to sound and you know, there's a video, but when it's like, You know, I mean, obviously, I understand it's a little more than that. And, you know, keeping consistent, really making it big does take a little bit of talent. But at the same time, when it comes to this cringy ass sad shit, like, dude, like, that's not a way to express your feelings. You're not making anything. You're not, you know, you're not really being creative with your feelings and getting them out or anything like that. You're just putting a sound with text to speech over a video of you driving your car like it's it's not that exciting or you know all the ones where it's like a sad like i don't know for example we'll use like x or like juice world or you know little peep you know that kind of that kind of shit right 
they'll play like a song and then just make a TikTok where they're acting all depressed in the background. And it's like, don't get me wrong. Like, I fucking love music from those people. And, you know, I mean, there's shit that I can relate to and shit like that. But, you know, you don't see me in my room making TikToks, like acting all fucking sad while I listen to that shit because it's just it's, you know, why do that? Like, why? Why do that? And, uh, you know, obviously this is kind of the more cringy shit, but then there is just some shit that like truly is depressing for people out there to see. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of oversharing that goes on sometimes too on, uh, in the same kind of issue, there's like the oversharing of just, you know, some shit. And it's like, like I said, in the beginning of the video, it is good to talk about your mental health and get shit out. You know, that's probably like one of the biggest um, you know, solutions to what you're dealing with at the time is to get the shit out and talk. Uh, you know, I mean, that's part of the reasons why I make YouTube videos is it gives me somewhere to just talk about shit. But like when, when you're doing this, it doesn't, it doesn't work to where you just share everything because if you share everything on the internet, there's going to be some shitty ass people that comment some shitty ass things. And on top of that, you really are just bringing down other people's day. Like, you kind of have to know what you're doing and how to do it. You can't just go out there and be like, I'm fucking so depressed. You know, I want to kill myself and shit like that. It's like, if you're at that state, it's not time to go post on TikTok. It's time to find, like, real help. Uh, you know, real help in your family and your friends or even in, like, you know, crisis lines or some shit like that. Because what you're doing on TikTok, it's not doing anything. Um, and that kind of leads me to the other side of it where these people just do do it intentionally to be cringe and uh, kind of like mock the people that are actually like this. And that's fucked up too because, you know, there's some people that are really fucking struggling out there. And, you know, they really do go through shit like that. And you're on TikTok making fun of it. Like, that's that's fucking that's whack. Like, that's actually fucked up. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's it's really just a complete shit show when it comes to cringy stuff on TikTok. Uh, I think it's pretty much all bad. All that sad, cringy, like e-boy, um, in my feels type shit. Uh, it's just, it's not really realistic. I don't think that there's a lot of people who are actually in those, uh, situations and shit like that, that would go through shit like that to make videos and stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's just, maybe I'm just not that kind of person and maybe other people are. Uh, but yeah, personally, I, I think it's weird as fuck. Um, and you know, a lot of them are just either depressing, cringy, or just downright kind of mean. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, really, I only see it from kind of the younger people out there. I'm not going to lie. It's like the Gen Z type people. Um, and of course I'm included in that shit. And, you know, I just love fucking friendly fire. Um, but yeah, it really is just those Gen Z people. And don't get me wrong. Like I said, like, I know that the kind of newer generation, uh, is probably one of like, they probably struggle with mental health issues the most, partly because we grew up on the internet, uh, you know, seeing a lot of the earlier forms of this shit. So it's like, oh, that's how you're supposed to feel. But no, like it, it is definitely a struggle for a lot of people out there, especially a lot of younger people. So, you know, I don't know, like it's weird. Um, personally, I think though, that it's just, really an issue of oversharing and just, you know, don't go share that shit on TikTok. Obviously, sometimes you're going to go past your better judgment, especially if you're like really feeling some kind of way. But honestly, try and use your head. Don't post shit like that. You know, I don't want to be going through my TikTok and someone's out there like, with a five paragraph thing on their TikTok talking about like, oh, my girlfriend just cheated on me. And she fucking left me and I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't I, like I'm going crazy. I don't know where to go because it's like everyone goes through some shit like that at some point in their life, probably. But honestly, you're better off talking to people that you're close with 
rather than putting it out on the internet. I know sometimes it's hard to talk to people that you're close with and you might think like, oh, it's easier to just put it out to a bunch of people that I don't know and, you know, hope like, oh, well, one of these people will probably care and help me. But honestly, it's still a gamble and uh, there's some shitty people out there on the internet. So, you know, just watch out, keep your head up. Uh, The shit's kind of cringe. I would recommend not doing it, but Hey, you do you at the end of the day. You know, who am I to say what the fuck you can and can't post on TikTok? Uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, I know it was just kind of like a weird rant uh, um, about sad boys on TikTok. But uh, yeah, if you did like it, make sure you leave a like as well as hit that subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you got any suggestions for future videos. I'm kind of running out of ideas here. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, with that being said, Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As always, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.